Hello and welcome to the 101st video by Pale Blue Thoughts. As I had promised towards the end of my last video, here I am, back after surviving my hapik drinking episode. I guess I didn't die or get hospitalized after consuming two harmful chemicals. All thanks to homeopathy. The overwhelming response to the 100th video and positive response that it received makes me feel that a lot of people understood that this medicine system has nothing but plain water at the end of its dilutions. Of course, the epic part of the entire story was when Harpik India replied to Dr. Abby's Twitter post where he shared my video and they replied stating that they were greatly concerned about someone drinking Harpik and advised not to do so. I found that very innocent and sweet of them and Dr. Abby's reply was as usual, point blank. So sweet of both of them. However, there were many who came and cried their frustrations out under my Facebook page. Had they seen and understood the video, they might not have resorted to support the pseudoscience. But hey ho, who takes such huge efforts? Almost all of the comments were under my Malayalam video, which tells something about the popularity of this pseudoscience in the highly literate state of Kerala. The funny thing was that all of them just had anecdotal evidences and plain statements like Homeo worked for me, there are many people who benefited from Homeo and Ayurveda and that modern medicine was also just as fake. Just statements with not an iota of scientific evidence to support it. And none of them were homeopaths. They were all common people who were deluded into believing in this fake medicine system. What annoyed me really was that each of them used the word allopathy to describe modern medicine which I feel is demeaning and derogatory. I finally had to send my video on why allopathy is outdated to those who kept repeating the A word. Of course, many of them resorted to personal insults and name calling as usual and I think I managed to put them all back into their shelves using just scientific data and sarcasm. During the conversations on FB, a few of them kept parroting that homeo has been effective against Covid. They were referring to the infamous Arsenicum album 30C. My regular viewers would remember that I had done a video on why arsenicum album is an ineffective medicine some time back. If you have not watched it, I will drop the link below or you can also click on the card that you see here. Of course, at that time there were no studies done to check the efficacy of this so-called immune booster against Covid except the Patanandita study which was a big flop show. But all that is now changed over a course of a few weeks. Now a study has been published which checks the efficacy of arsenicum album in preventing COVID. And the interesting or rather hilarious thing is that the study has been done by a group of homeopaths themselves. The finding of the study can be found in their very own journal called Homeopathy and on PubMed. The links for which are in the description box as usual. The study was conducted by Gitanjali Talele, Shashikant Vaidya, Abhay Chaudhary, Paul Herskew and Rajesh Shah. All but one are in Maharashtra. Paul Herskey works at the Herskey Laboratory in the United States which conducts studies and treatments in parallel medicine, especially the use of complementary and alternative medicine in influenza epidemics and pandemics. So here are the details of the study in short. 2,294 people were included in the study. The study participants were divided into six groups. Each category were given specific medications. Group 1 Arsenicum Album 30C Group 2 Bryonia Alba 30C Group 3 A mixture of these drugs Group 4 Coronavirus Nosod CVN01 30C Group 5 Comfora 1M Group 6 A placebo the aim of the study was to find out how many of these people will have symptoms including how long it will take to recover from COVID from the time they test positive and how long it will take for hospital admission. The study was done on people in quarantine. Please note that this is a randomized control study using a control group as is done by real scientific studies. Of course, no one knows that if they have done any data manipulation as usual but the result still makes an interesting read. So what did the study find? Out of the six groups of these, those in groups 1 and 3 found no benefit. That is, the study shows that giving the arsenicum album alone or in combination with other substances 
had no effect. In other words, the homeopaths themselves say that there is no evidence for a drug recommended by Ayush and being consumed by people all over Kerala and many parts of India and is currently being tested in children in Kerala has no effect on COVID. So, Arsenicum album does not boost immunity or prevent COVID or cure COVID. If there is a study to contrary, it can be discussed later. According to the study, drugs given in group 2 and 4 have the potential to be further studied. The fourth of these is the COVID nosote named CVN0130C. The material was developed by a person who was involved in conducting the study, Rajesh Shah. Then there may be some moral issues as there could be a conflict of interest. But then Ayush is known to sweep all these under the carpet and continue as normal. There is also a chance that Bryonia alba and CVN0130C may be the next Arsalb. The study only says that it should be studied further. But is that statement going to stop homeopaths from administering this to patients or for supporters of the pseudoscience to start believing in this from tomorrow? But this is a message for all my viewers since many of you wrote back to me after my last video debunking Arsenicum album 30C that they had taken this no good pill. This pill does not work as per studies done by homeopaths themselves. And for all those who are still banging their heads on my FB wall, here is the evidence apart from the others that have given earlier on my video debunking Arsenicum album 30C. If you come again stating that this sugar pills in water will fight COVID, this video and the study is going to come right back at you. In short, Arsenicum album does not work as the homeopaths claim. It's nothing more than a placebo. Hope this convinces all those who believe in this much more than when they listened to me earlier. If not me, listen to the homeopaths at least. I don't usually like to say I told you so, but here I want to stress the fact that I, no, not just me, the whole of the scientific minded society said, we told you so. I hope you like this video. If you are watching for the first time, please click on subscribe and click on the bell icon and select personalized. The next scam to be busted is Ayurveda and I will come real soon with that. Until next time, it's bye bye from Pale Blue Thoughts.